My name is Vishma Lalhari. I am Sunil Lalhari. And this is our business, Worldly Lights. Well, this actually started off by the first phase of the COVID. We had a lot of time. We started to build the camp here. We had a lot of friends coming by. So we started to bake stuff and think because we wasn't going anywhere. This is actually ancestral land. My grandparents used to live here. They worked here. Part of the Kunjal Food Crop Project. Which is located here in Bakpur. We have 102 farmers, roughly 320 acres. My dad, he passed away in 2020. He handed it over to my brother and I. So my brother has a piece and I have a piece. It's actually state land, so it's not handed over. It's just, you know, we work with him. It's more than 30 years we're here with him. We, I just wanted to take it somewhere further. And with the know-how, you know, with the pizzas, I think I had help from a friend. And we started and the community seemed to embrace us and they, they love the idea, they love the food. Always asking and making suggestions for stuff. We had fireside and we used to use mangrove wood and stuff that we gather. My grandfather had a mule cart back then and they used to gather the wood on there and come and all we used to use to cook. We didn't have gas stove back then. The dirt oven is something that we experimented with me and my wife. We built one home, a small one. We still have it home there, but we don't use it anymore. And we come and we build this big one here to accommodate more stuff. Yeah, every time we use it, it'll crack a little more, a little more. We fill it up and then we'll start back fresh again. So it's ongoing. You just need to keep repairing. Yeah, some people feel yeah, but I don't know when you have that like it works. So you know, if you just keep using it without repairing it, it only lasts a couple of times and then it'll collapse. Yeah, I don't know how the breeze and thing blowing and how to face your oven and whatnot. Otherwise, you end up in problems. Part of the agro processing that I do, I have my own pepper sauce, which I formulated. It is a turmeric pepper sauce. The turmeric that I plant here, we had an abundant supply. I also have a golden tea, which I use the turmeric and ginger and so. I do wines, sugar cane, pineapple. You know, we have our own pineapple fields. My sister-in-law started doing sweets to offer up for sale, and it has started to, to grow, and she actually has her own business, which is Conjure Crepes. So she does the sweets, a lot of traditional Indian sweets. From our dirt oven, we offer pizza, which is our specialty, but we have unique foods. So we try to utilize stuff from the land, which is like cassava. We do cassava salad, sweet potatoes. So we do a lot of roast fish, duck, chicken, things that you wouldn't find at a normal restaurant or a normal place and more homey, unique style foods. We use a fermented dough and we only have a certain amount. We use a sourdough. Yeah. So it's a pre-made pre -made sour, sourdough starter that I have. And like if I come out with, let's say, 24 doughs, it's 24 pizzas I can make. Sometimes we have customers come and cannot get a pizza. So if you could call in the week and order before and book your breads and pizzas and it's helpful. This is their white pizza. Yeah, white sauce, shrimp, pineapples, hot peppers. Pizza looking good. The mouth watering is a nice thin crust. Mm -hmm. It is surprisingly sweet. It's a really nice balance. It really does taste white, if that makes any sense. I love the flavors that you get from a dirt oven. It's really special, a nice earthiness, especially with the smokiness from the wood. It's really amazing. I met these lovely people that are followers of the page and I'm also here with Shania, my friend here who's from the area. So I said, you know, let's go and try. Imagine she's living here and she had no clue yeah, I really didn't. about this place, right? So we have a two potato salad and we have a roasted cavalli. It looks so red. It's not like a typical potato salad where it has too much of like mayonnaise or anything like that. Mm -hmm. It's totally balanced and very creamy. <laughs> the fish is actually delicious. That sauce um, that they put on it really tasty. I want to throw some of the pepper sauce. What happened? I don't know how hot the pepper is. Yeah, go ahead now, Shania. I like that pepper sauce. <laughs> that pepper sauce is it. No, I love that pepper sauce. Oh my god. The pepper sauce is really, really good. I like it. It's not too spicy in a sense that you can eat like plenty and then you will get the burn after. It's really tasty. My family here, which is my sons and my husband and myself, also my, my brother and they. When we have customers, like a few customers come together, we try to, you know, not 
have them sit. We, we want to have people engaging in a lot of activities. So we started offering fishing. We have African snails here, so we try to educate people a lot about the cups and the problems that we have. People that just, just come for the walk in the evening, they're nice and cool and scenic, the air fresh, the breeze, the birds. Yes, the the place is just nice. It's, just nice. it's a bird watcher's paradise here. We are open only on a Saturday for now, from 12 for lunch, pizza starts at 2.30. And we are also open on Sundays for events and small groups and so to accommodate the family lines and things. This idea, it, it has really helped us. It's opened a lot of doors for us. But I'm not sure how long we could, well, I could carry on. So as far as it could take me, I am willing to go. How to go in a hammock with Randall Robinson? OK. I could just try to straddle it like a horse. I mean, it's almost night time. We're trying to leave before the mosquitoes come. It reminds me of a simpler time, you know, when, when things were a little bit more easier, when you didn't have to study about social media and all this sort of thing. I mean, as you're walking, they welcome you. You feel like part of the family. It feels like home. And I mean, the, the ambience, I, I love the breeze here. This is the first time on the hammock. But the breeze has been hitting us like since we walked in. And you could actually camp out, spend the night, there are toilets, facilities, so you have nothing to worry about. We really enjoyed our time here at Rural Delights. It's a relaxing place to be.